I think cell phones belong in the classroom. It just depends on how you use them, and that's all based on the person. Quebec elementary and high school classrooms will soon see a ban on this cell phones. The province's education minister, Bernard Drainville, announced Wednesday that he will bring forward the new directive as quickly as possible for public schools. With classes resuming next week, he says this will help students better concentrate. We want to uh, help uh, with the concentration of kids. We've listened to the teachers as well. Um, the teachers will tell you that a lot of kids are using their cell during class time. I definitely think that it should be limited. I think that um, in certain situations you could use your cell phone, like if you needed to like play activities or anything like that, or for like educational purposes. But I do find that like it's very distracting for children um, or any age, honestly. Last spring, 92% of the 7,000 teachers surveyed by the Federation of Teachers Unions, the FSE, said they support a ban on cell phones in the classroom, except for certain activities where one is needed. For this substitute teacher, she agrees. The students need to be focusing on the subject at hand. I don't think cell phones should be around. I think it's a distraction um, mentally and physically. It's easy to say, oh, they're just spending time on TikTok and doing nothing. But actually, some children do learn there. They connect there with other people. Uh, it develops their mind. It's not yet clear in terms of how the ban will be enforced if cell phones will be left in a box at the entrance to the class or left in the student's lockers. According to Trainville, it will be up to the school to decide. Cell phones are not allowed while class is in session, uh, only if it's for an educational purpose. Uh, they're either uh, to be left in the lockers or they're to be placed in specific bags and given back to them at the end of class. Michael Cohen of the English Montreal School Board says their schools have already implemented bans on mobile devices. Having the government, uh, you know, back them up, so to speak, there's nothing negative about that. We also have to keep in mind that not all children are the same. Some children are neurodivergent and they have special needs, so they, those needs need to be met. Once you've arrived at the conclusion that this is going to be a good thing for the kids' concentration and this is going to create better conditions for academic success, well, I think it's my responsibility as minister then to make sure that all the students can benefit from this measure. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.